Hi, this is Jim Pallarino. Uh, I'm going to leave a hyperlink below, and it's uh, I found it to be very, very interesting. It's a, it's it's on Wikipedia. It's our national debt, which is like throughout the lifetime of uh, the history of the U.S. government collected, um, compared with a uh, uh, to GDP, which is a yearly measurement, and um, how this. Um, how this has played out over the different presidencies. This one goes from um, okay FDR till present, right? And under FDR, there was a lot of spending. It was World War II, so it was at its highest. The, the debt to GDP was over a hundred percent. It was one hundred and seventeen point five. Um, then and then it went down after World War II hitting a low point when Reagan took office this is this is and in four years he increased it by 823 billion the debt and then he was reelected and he increased it by 1.05 trillion this is 11.3 percent increase the first semester of his uh, presidency and a 9.3% increase the second semester. Now, um, everyone out there seems to like uh, believe, because this is how Reagan talked, that uh, that Ronald Reagan was some like ultra conservative person. It was all a lie. This this man used Keynesian economics, uh, large government spending, to uh, get us out of a stagflationary period that we were in. Um, I believe that Reagan was an, uh, not just a liberal, but a uh, um, very, very liberal president that we had, despite being um, in the Republican Party and talking the game as if he was conservative. Uh, I believe he was liberal, and he was, he was like a gay or bisexual and uh, that information was given to me by Bob Chapman listening to one of his radio programs. He, he was talking on the Alex Jones show. So I, I think that kind of like some, some gay Hollywood actor uh, might have a tendency towards liberal, uh, being liberal despite um, how he talked about conservative. He, he would talk like he, a good game as if he was conservative. But uh, I think it was, I know that it. It was the exact opposite of what he said, and uh, ironically enough, uh, our our debt was at its lowest um, by when Jimmy Carter was president and when he left office. Okay, have a nice day. Bye. Hyperlink below.